Uh, welcome again to another meeting of the Monroe County History Club. Uh, as usual, thanks to the, the, the usual people like the Legion for being such great guests and making this a perfect venue and for their servers uh, for making it, uh, make it so good. And also, um, uh, this week we gave a, uh, a radio presentation with Jim Inman, who I thought might be here today, but uh, uh, it was our sixth one that we gave with Jim. And uh, we thank him for all the support he's given to the Monroe County History Club. Uh, I'm going to name a, a few of the ones coming up in the future. There's about five of them here. Uh, October 25th, we'll have Jake Butler, and he's was a Jake Butler or, or the Butler Winery people. He's going to give a history of the various train depots uh, that used to be in Bloomington. Uh, there are like three or four, something like that. Uh, November 29th, uh, Rich Holdeman uh, will discuss the history of the Covenanter family of the Underground Railroad, uh, something he's been looking to do. Uh, December 27th, Chris Williams, who's a two-time city golf champion, has been wanting to do one on the history of uh, Cascades Golf Course. So uh, he's a teacher at Bloomington North, and December 27th is when they're on break, so he thought that was a great time to do that. Uh, January 31st, Duncan Campbell re will return. He's already given one program. He'll give a, one on the, the local uh, limestone industry. Uh, Clay's given a couple. His will be a little bit different. He's got some rare photos that haven't been seen before. Uh, Derek and I have both seen that. It's a pr pretty good program. And then February 28th, uh, Christine Friesel, I just found out the other day, from the MCPL, uh, we'll be here to give a program on the Monroe County Timeline, which is a big project we got going forward here. So, uh, yep. Thank you, Mike. Uh, by the way, at the Monroe County Public Library, also, if you're looking for any info, the Indiana Room is a great place to spend some time and a lot of photos, gothics, and things down there. So it's a good, uh, good place to spend an afternoon. So um, today, Derek's going to give some. Uh, Nice pictures from the HT that were scanned, and uh, looks like from the 60s. I'm not sure what year you're up to yet. Early 60s, probably. Early 60s, so uh, he's going to go through all those for us today. And Randy Richardson would like to say a couple things here, so we'll have her come up. I just wanted to remind those of you who have roots in Owen County that there is now a Sweet Owen Genealogy Club and that will be meeting on the third Monday in October, October the 17th at 6 p.m. at the Lions Club, which is on the corner of Main and Highway 46. So. I'm going to pass around uh, some flyers, and if you're interested, please take one and join us if you're able. Thanks. Thank you, Randy. And George, uh, he's going to take care of the things like the email. If he, you want to speak and tell everybody about our U, the YouTube items and how, the YouTube, YouTube. The YouTube videos, yes. Oh, YouTube. How about I just tell <laughs> Everybody hear me? Okay, anyone that's here that wants to be on our mailing list, email list, let me know at the end of the meeting. Put your name, email address down on a card, and you'll get a letter, email from me. Uh, every month we have a presentation. This goes clear back for over a year ago when Mr. Sturbaum uh, was here. Uh, we have the presentations recorded. Uh, the first two presentations I did on my Rinky Dink notebook camera, now we have professional help here from CATS that do a fab fabulous job. I can't say yes. enough. Say I can't say enough good about these folks and the quality of the presentation uh, we get from them. I will be putting the uh, Clay Stuckey's uh, most recent presentation on which was last month on a, in a couple of days. So if you can't make the meetings here, you can get online on YouTube and see what we're about to have presented here today. 
And for some folks, you get bad weather or can't, just can't make it, that's an opportunity. Last point. If you'd like to be on the email list, I think I already said this, that's part of the problem of getting to be my age. That you forget what you talked about. Why are you laughing, Marilyn? <laughs> Let me know if you put your name on the email list, and uh, I'll be glad to take care of that. On the other hand, if you don't want to be on the email list, let me know and I'll take you off. Okay. There you go. Any questions? Y'all have a good day. And on the U when you get onto YouTube, if you punch in Monroe County History Club, typically it'll bring up most of the ones that are available uh, by the keyword search, Monroe County History Club. And also on the Facebook pages, we post the links to the new videos. We'll send you right to YouTube. So if you're on any of the Bloomington pages, you can connect to there too. So, Derek? Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so if you were here for the last time we did this, we went through two hours of photos. Um, I don't think we're going to go through two hours today, um, but we are going to get a, at least a solid hour in. Um, I wish I could do more, but I actually have like a real job with a real organization now, so I can't just take you know endless lunches. Um, I have to keep this one to an hour. Um, and yeah, how many? On behalf of those of us who are retired, thank you for working. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, George. Um, I don't know how many people are here are familiar with Stone Belt. Yeah, Stone Belt. Arc. That's where I'm. I'm the director of development, which means I go out and ask people for their money to support the 10 percent that Medicaid it does not cover um, there at Stone Belt. So the federal and state. Uh, funding only covers 90% of what we do out there. So we start every year 10% in the hole. So that's, uh, that's my job now, is to cover that 10% as best I can. Um, so that gives you a little background there. But uh, I'm happy to be working there. It's kind of a little stone belt plug, actually, because uh, um, they work with over uh, 3,000 people with disabilities, not in just Monroe County, but um, as well out in Columbus and Bedford, so over three counties in South Central Indiana, and I believe we're actually the largest ARC in Indiana. Uh, and we are about the 11th, I believe, biggest employer in Bloomington or in Monroe County. People don't know that. So um, we do all we can for people with disabilities. Now, as far as the archiving goes, um, we are, I believe, around 1967-ish right now. But this is earlier 60s. We'll get to the exact year, I'm sure, once we start looking at it, figuring out. I did not go over these last night. I just basically started from where we left off archiving, copied a large number of them, and plopped them in a file. So I have seen them before, um, but I'm just hoping nothing um, too repulsive is on there. Um, uh, we've had that happen. There have been some plane crashes that were photographed and uh, quite a few car accidents as well, and some of them are pretty gruesome. Hold on. All right, so let's get started here. Well, <laughs> Mike, where's Mike? Mike, he left, he just abandoned me. This isn't working, or is it off? No, no, no. He had it working earlier. This is our little team logo, by the way. Bloomington Historic Archiving Team. And of course, we got Marilyn and Donna and Mike, who are, are there on a regular basis doing it. I used to be there on a regular basis, but not anymore. Well, I guess our clicker's broken, so now I'm going to have to drag oh, that. No, not the clicker. <laughs> the clicker has met its end. <laughs> I'm going to about to grab your computer and pull it over there and put it on oh, there, the chair. There you go. Click the, the arrow on the right. 
Okay. There we go. Is it working now? It's going to work for me? All right. Awesome. We'll see how long this lasts. All right, and one of the reasons we actually do this, and, and Donna mentioned we're actually into 1969 now as archiving, is so you can tell us what the heck we're looking at. Because a lot of times, for instance, like that, I have no idea who these people are. And um, so if you know them, yell out. This is Miss Bachelor, of which, on the very end, and she was what the school was named after? Okay. Awesome. So she, the school was named after her. The lady at the very end is Miss Bachelor. I'm not sure where we are, but it looks like a local grocery store of some sort. 29 cents for Rinso, whatever that is. I don't even know what Rinso is. <laughs> Thank you. My age is showing in the, in the other direction. Now, they like to take this. They took so many photos of people standing in front of this map. It's, it's immense. So it must have been downtown at one point at, in the courthouse or at least in the mayor's or near the mayor's office. Yeah. Anybody know these folks? This is Billingsley on the right. Billings, just Billings on the right. Billings Lee. And he was at the bank, you say? Okay, Old National. Okay. First National. Yes, that map is now on the second floor of the History Center. All right. This is a view of the courthouse. And I guess that's Tom Lemon sitting in the seat. So says, all right. Oh, don't. Sits, yep. This is a police officer and two folks, not sure who exactly. They seem to be having a good time. This is IU. It looks like a floor cleaner of some sort. Anybody involved with junior gardening? Oh, I was junior Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's probably not you, but maybe you know them. <laughs> That must be at a school somewhere. The brownies. Those aren't brownies. I think this is like the Pledge of Allegiance or something. I can't tell. Either that, there's something very interesting to the right side off camera we cannot see. It is believed the girl, what, with the dark dress? Senior court. Senior court. Senior court. See, it says club on her. Yeah. That's Harriet Hines. Harriet Hines. Yes, Lillian Mohawk. We don't have to take notes because they're, they're filming it. Yeah, we just go back and what? take notes then. Bizarre room. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting shirt is very bizarre. An elephant shirt on the right. Although, wait, that's not a shirt. Looks like she's wearing that, but she's not. Hillside. Enjoy your trip back and forth. Hillside something, but it is Hillside School. Any teachers recognizable, parents? I'm not sure. This is the uh, bathhouse. I guess the bathhouse for Bloomington Council Girl Scouts of America. Yep. 
That's it, right. It does say Bradford Woods, and I know this is actually, I believe it's still there. Fundraising, very common theme in the photographs that we scan. <clears throat> Looks like an old pamphlet or outline for what will become the Girl Scout area in Bradford Woods. The Winterized Lodge. Although I, I don't know how many people go there during the winter. But in case they do, this one's winterized. Okay. I was never a Girl Scout, so I didn't know. I was never one of those either. <laughs> All right. I've actually held meetings in this, this uh, dining hall and kitchen. Still there. The infirmary, in case you got a cough or a cold while you were there during the winter. <laughs> All right. These are guys that obviously work there at Shell, it looks like. We've seen this one before, but actually this is along um, 10th and uh, College, no, Walnut. We're looking south, and the house behind them is actually still standing. It's been restored, and it's yellow. It's a law office on 10th and, uh, and Walnut. Is that Bob Pennington in the middle? I don't know. No, it doesn't say Pete. It says Joe on the right. Yeah, sometimes the scans don't come out perfectly. Not sure who these folks are. Mayor Hooker, okay. Dave Lemon, that's why you're here. Herman Wells is in this photo. More dignitaries of some sort at the airport. Lake Central Airlines. Lake Central Airlines. I guess that was a big airline back then. Yeah, of the DC three. <coughs> a fire near the train. I thought you'd be interested in this, George. That's a quarry to milk car. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. <laughs> well read. Men holding the hose. <laughs> yeah, that did come out right. All right, uh, <laughs> here we go. This is second in Swain. Huh? Probably looks similar today. Not sure. Ah, there's our answer. It's the sewage facilities. I hope there's not some up, there are not up close photos of that. Here we go. SHS? Smithville High School? Could be Steinsville, correct. It's back when they had a high school. Here's some guys coming out of the Bradfute building with newspapers for sale. Look at those newspapers. They were heavy. They were large. They were thick. That looks painful carrying those things. Oh, and there's their lovely home now. Now you can compare the Bradfute building to this building. I'll take this building any day. But anyhow, we've got that one. And if you've ever been in this one, it almost has no windows. It's kind of dreary. And it gets worse as you go back. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, we've been archiving these photos and scanning them in a room that has no windows. And after a while, it does get a little claustrophobic back there. Look, surrounded by all that concrete in those short ceilings. Um, this is on the back. Oh, Dave got... This is on uh, South Walnut. This is South Walnut. That house is, would be sitting right in front of Bloomington South. Yeah. 
Our business is across the street, Burkhardt Floor Covering. Yep. Because I recognize that uh, station wagon. <laughs> All right. If you say so. Okay. So that house is on the property. That house is on property that is now for South High School. Okay, great. That's helpful. That looks that looks complicated. Key punch machine, okay. I'm, I'm not sure what year we're at. So 61, 62, somewhere around there. Jane Zimmerman. On the left. Okay, that's sort of a psychedelic photo, huh? Reba McCoy in the middle? Interesting. All right. Up oh, here's the Herald Times again. Before they paved the lot. The record hatchery. That's downtown, near Morton. That's an interesting point right there. That used to be where the engine house for the original New Albany and Salem Railroad came into. The original engine house. I'll, I'll leave that picture alone. Okay. So this is where the original uh, engine house was near downtown? Yeah, this is just north of Kirkwood and Morton Street. And it almost looks like he's cultivating it to grow corn, but we know that's not happening. All right. Classroom. Integrated classroom. All right, I'm not sure who we're looking at, but uh, they're young, very young children. Up, oh. yeah, there are a lot. There's a lot of this, unfortunately, in this collection. A lot of car wrecks. But if you think about it, we're in the '60s. We've really only been driving for 30, 40 years at best. A lot of people still don't know what the heck they're doing. <laughs> yeah. That's George Roberts. What did George Roberts do? Sorry? He worked for the phone company. Okay. And yes, he apparently smoked. For the young people here, that's an ashtray. Yes, that is an ashtray for, for the younger folks. <laughs> that's what those used to look like. I am not too sure. Oh, those could be indeed the printing presses moving into the new Herald Times building. That's correct. Uh, this must be in there too. He may have seen a roach or something. There they are. All right. Old dirt racing car. A quarter midget? Is that what those are called? Okay. But definitely an open wheel car. This is the McDaniels furniture car. Yeah, that's Lauren Fox on the right. That's Lauren Fox. Lawrence. Lawrence Fox. And that might be Gabe. Yeah, that's what we're Fox. This should should be the south end of the post office block. Way back when, after they just bought all these fancy little scooter thingies, and I guess they're kind of showing them off for the paper. Here's our new investment. I wonder how long they use these things. Until they fell apart. Until they fell apart. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They don't look very stable. And in the background is what would be today the Turkaz Cafe building, but obviously it's not yet. Shop class. Pretending to camp. <laughs> Probably pretending to type, yeah. <laughs> K 
can't reach the water. Cute dog. Obviously a police dog of some sort. That looks like a mess. Yeah, it does look like a mill. Oh, it's high fells when it burned. High fells when it burned? Yeah, high fells junkyard. High fells junkyard. Mill okay. up on Rogers Street. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's junk inside there. So. Yeah, it does. Parts of that are still, still there, right? Well, right. There's stone in there. Right yeah, this looks like limestone in here, slabs. The old Shawnee Stone Company. Old Shawnee Stone Company. You might want some of these. You may already have photos of it. Clay. All right. So this is at the Shawnee Limestone Company. Okay. Looks like it uh, has seen better days. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's an awesome photo. Where is the Shawnee Limestone? North Rogers Street. Okay. Wow. That's one of the scrap iron plates. This, this is not it. So that questions whether the earlier pictures were what somebody thought was the scrap okay. iron. Yeah. We got too much stone in there. Yeah, that's not a Shawnee. Looks like a new house going up. New suburbia. 1960s. Sort of the celebration of the expansion of suburbia. This little five, yep. That's out at, uh, what is it, Redwood uh, Food and Apartments? Out there, that's, a, that's the top of the old hangar at the university school. Hmm. Yeah, the airport. They must be practicing then for it. That's where Tulip Tree is. That's where Tulip Tree Housing is? Well, who is it? Fred Wiley. Oh, I hope he didn't hurt himself hitting that bowling ball. Anybody know these gentlemen? It's outside of Thrasher's Hardware. That is true downtown. Um, of course, right behind them is the Graham. Um, and of course, they, they eventually tore down Thrasher's Hardware, that whole building. Um, it was a very beautiful building. It's un kind of unfortunate. And there we can see the... Yep, the Roxy's still standing behind them. Yep, they tore that down too, of course. It looks like some sort of Boy Scout award and a very, it's a tiny mallet for, say, mice on it. More Thrasher hardware photos and gentlemen. Oh, it's Harry Stevens. Harry Stevens, yeah, used cars. Yeah, Derek, that's yeah. my grandmother's house was. So this is along uh, Walnut. Yep, 329 South Walnut. Yeah, this was where her house was. It looks like it's already gone huh? by now. That whole yep. side of the road has been demolished, and this is now commercial for commercial use. Yeah. Looking down Kirkwood, this is kind of, you could make a poster out of this one. It's a very nice photo. Got the Von Lee on the right looking towards the square. That's a nice one, too. Mike Abrams? Mike Abrams. Dr. Mike Abrams. He became a doctor? Yes. What kind of doctor? Medical, Medical doctor. Medical doctor. Okay. kid from our class that became a physician. Okay. I'm going to finish at this point, then I'll eat afterwards. That's all. Thank God it's not totally anatomically correct. 
I'm not sure we could have had that one on here. I'm not sure where this guy is, but it looks... Cascades. Yeah, it looks like Cascades, doesn't it? Yeah. Could be the driving range. It does look a lot like the driving range. Somebody took a close-up of uh, the white arrow on the ground, I'm guessing because they were newly painted. Here, here we are downtown. This is 7th Street. 6th Street, 6th Street looking west, right. You can see the Graham back there. Buck Lemon's, Buck Lemon did furniture and cars. He's a bus, busy man. Yeah, that's a whole different that branch of the Lemon family, huh? <laughs> Christy Coots on the drums. Tom Shields on the far left. David Hooper is next to him. <laughs> no. All right, so that's three out of four. Anybody know the guy on the far far right is? John Harshman. John Hirschman. Hirschman. Okay. <laughs> Don't make Cuba our hungry. So obviously some um, protesters. Yep. Walking down Kirkwood, obviously. Here we are digging a hole along Kirkwood. This is why we accidentally get photos of actual houses, because they dig holes. And that house there is, is not with us anymore, because it's right on the corner where the library is. I'm, She's wearing one of those plates as a hat. Yeah, that's a very interesting hat. So some sort of, some sort of lunch. The back end of a rocket. <laughs> yeah, U.S. Navy carrier. Okay. Uh, young lady painting outside. Probably a student. That's why nobody would know her, I would guess. Uh, IU student. She's very focused. More cars. <laughs> yep, Sarkis Tarzian Special says on it. But neither of those is Sarkis. Look like we got some flooding here. I'm not sure where. But it looks near the dam, because this looks to be a dam area here. That's Griffey. Lake Griffey. This is Lake Griffey. Yeah, that's over to your immediate right there was the water treatment plant. Okay, that's right, which still still stands yeah. and it's rotting and falling apart. And I guess somebody asked not, not long ago what was going to happen to the old... I mean, apparently the city still has plans for it. So, Yeah, unless it falls down, right, which it's looking like it's going to do. Test pattern. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Yeah, I even, you know, I'm even old enough. I, I remember watching those for hours, too. David Wagner. David Wagner. Closest to us. This guy on the right here? All right. Far right, David Wagner. And what did David Wagner do? He was in our graduate class. And then? Mighty class of 64. All right. Is, Oh, he moved. Okay. His dad used to have a gas station. Okay. Moved to Fort Wayne. His dad worked for the railroad. Dad worked for the railroad. That's why you know him. Isn't that Marley there? Where? Oh, yeah. Ferguson with the mouth open. No. It's off the left. It looks like Marley. No, it's not. Proposed new building. I'm guessing this is the hospital. Yes, the hospital lasted 50 years, 60 years. Now it will be no more with us soon. Just a 
Yeah, the one. Yeah. Where, where, was the, where was the hospital before this? It was around the, right the same place. Yeah, right along Roger Street. It actually, the first one of its kind was an old farmhouse. And um, it had sort of Italianate architecture, actually, and it was torn down eventually. Yeah, and then it was the nurses' quarters, right, before it was torn down over sometime in the 50s. And you can see how they're going to attach it to the uh, older building. Someone's backyard. Someone's house maybe for sale. For sale. For sale from Mercer. Limestone, little limestone cottage. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's getting some sort of a recognition. Free little 500. Above the window. What does it say? Hedrick. It says Hedrick up above the window. That might help us to identify something later. All right. Some sort of social situation. Wow, this is a very interesting photto. Here we we can still see, yeah, we can still see a chunk of the old the first hotel there, the bowls that was this building replaced, but it used to come all the way out to here. And uh, actually, we can see houses that are no longer there along um, along College, where Smallwood is now, and a bunch of other ugly buildings. Um, <laughs> So some sort of parade, obviously. Well, it's probably, looks like it's uh, Memorial Day or something like that. Probably Memorial Day, yeah. The trees are, well, got leaves on them. This, this is a poster. That, this photo is fantastic. And it looks like he's, like he's taking it from about the second or third floor uh, from the south side of the square. Yeah, part of the bank. Yeah, and here looks to be the queen or whatever they... That does look a lot like Liz Taylor to me. I, do we know if Liz Taylor ever came to Bloomington? <laughs> Happy Kids. Yes, Any, it does. Who? Alice Dickman. Alice. Alice. The girl in black. Dallas. Dallas Dickman. Alice. Alice Dickman. Okay. Alice Dickman, top left. And what became of her? She graduated. She graduated. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and left town. And left town. That seems to be a theme. She lives in Florida. No, they don't live in Florida. Come on, get your facts straight here. <laughs> All right. Her mother's still alive. Her mom, my mom, and this is the All right. So a classroom of some sort. Some singing going on. Anybody remember this teacher? Nope. Some sort of a award for tennis, it looks like. Anybody know tennis players? No? The guy in the center is Mike Goble. Boy, I tell you, that's an early picture. So him? Yeah. Somebody thinks it's Mike Goble. But now, upon further reflection, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why these two photos are together, but that happens sometimes when we scan. They're like they attach, like amoebas or something. All right. All right. Pump and gas. Coaches. <laughs> golf. Going to go play golf. Gumballs. That was all you got, 
Mayor Lemon. That was the IU golf course. This is Mayor Lemon, probably the most photographed mayor of all time. Standing in front of his lake. Standing in front of the lake that he named after himself or they named after him? Well, that's not fair. A little bit. Did they just call it Lake Lemon because he well, came to be or when he was? Do you want to know the truth about Mayor uh, Lemon was uh, a broken administration in 1952. Mm -hmm. Bob Kelly was elected. Mm -hmm. Tom Lemon had the mayoralty before that and the mayor's office after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, under the, the first administration, this lake was planned. Okay. And under the, sec and under the second administration, <coughs> it was named for him. Okay. All right. The, the original name for that lake was Bean Blossom Reservoir. Okay, well that would make sense since it's in the Bean Blossom area, right? I'm fine with it being called Lake Lemon. Bean Blossom Creek is what they dam. Okay. But actually there was already a Bean Blossom Hmm. All right, sculpture. Limestone, obviously. I can't really tell, but this could be going anywhere, obviously, in the world. This could be the paper boy in front of the old Her the Herald Times. I don't think that paper boy is there anymore. He grew up. He grew up and ran away, yeah. <laughs> well, I think other people would look at it today. Uh-oh, baseball. Mike, you name the players. Well, Jerry Burton, second from the left, and Jim Levins, just to the right of uh, Jerry, third from the left. John Slavich in the middle, Tracy Clay, Chuck Belcher on the far right. Second row is Wagner, right? And then Terry Eppard, Jim Kinnaman, Steve Mitchell. It might be Bill Gifford, I'm not sure on that. And then Gary Chambers on the right. Uh, top left is Gary Gist, and then Bill Snyder, Paul Sendrich, Mike Arnold, and Coach Gallo. And I was on his team. I must have been gone that day. So I, I was. <laughs> Somebody didn't tell you where they were taking photos that day. <clears throat> Did you play, Mike, on the team? I mean, no, I mean, like, play. I know you're on the team. Did you get to play? Okay. <laughs> Well, I believe, isn't that the uh, isn't that the canal in the back? Yeah. That if you hit it over the canal, it was a home run? Uh, well, yeah. the fence was in front of the, the, the water. Okay. So, yeah, but you it frequently went over the water. Oh, yeah. None of mine went over the water. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't the high school team, right? No, yeah. yeah, that was the junior high team. Yeah. That was the junior high team, yeah. Someone near the Herald telephone putting in trees. I believe that tree is still there today. Recently they've been taking them out. Recently they've been taking trees out. Okay. I haven't been there recently, so as in like three weeks. <laughs> All right. New house. <laughs> Little uh, spiked lemonade, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. But we're at a social gathering of some sort. And they look they look like important people. IU people. No, that is not Harry Truman. Nor is it Dwight Eisenhower. Yeah, this is some sort of alumni gathering here. This is inside the union. And it looks pretty similar today actually. Beck Chapel, so something big's going on here. Maybe a wedding. Maybe a reunion. Maybe a reunion. There is the paper boy. I'm sure people today would look at this and go, paper boy, what's that? They wouldn't even know what a paper boy was. Well, yeah, see, back in the day, young children used to hand out the paper for a nickel. I'm guessing that's two people underneath there somewhere. <laughs> I, at least I hope so. Yes, she has a compatriot. 
All right, some sort of somber situation. All right, re-roofing or roofing. A very tall officer. This guy got in trouble, maybe, for having too much beer. Drury's beer. I have to look that up and see when they closed down shop. More gals, Girl Scouts, maybe. I don't know. That was like Bill the That's Bill the Burke from the far right. Something fell down. This is the first Christian church? No? No, no, no. No, no. the picture. Neville Barker was the first Christian church. All right. Whatever it is, it's in bad shape. Uh, I'm guessing that it was torn down on purpose. But I'm not sure what, where it is. Here's some camping. Marshmallows. We're having fun. No. Cascades. Cascades. Yep, that's where we're at. This is a uh, the Workingmen's Bank when it was brand new. Of course, it's a CVS today, which I guess is better than the alternative, which was they were going to tear it down. George's dentist was on the second floor. Just so you know, that's an important historical fact. Dancers. <laughs> Valhalla. Must be when it was new. Happy gentlemen. Traffic. Yeah, sometimes we scan these because, you know, they're in negatives. We can't really tell what we're looking at. And after we're... Go back. Nope, oh, nope, that's forward. That's your car in there. Your car is in the center? Really, Bob? It isn't mine. Well, it's the same man, brand. Okay. Uh, no, I have no clue where this is. That's why we're. Huh? Yeah, could be. You're right. It almost reminds me of the fairgrounds in could be. Yeah. More photos of the Herald. Te they were photographing the Herald Telephone a lot that year because obviously it was brand new. With its stunning new <laughs> architecture, with uh, its modern architecture with a, a tip of the hat to the columns of the old building in the front. Anybody ever realize that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they would either. Uh, another formal situation. Somebody's turning. Somebody's turning 50. Yeah, it could be a 50th anniversary, but something is turning 50. Girls, tea party. No, not that tea party. This is the tea party. People used to have with their dolls. That's a nice picture. Looks like a play almost. We obviously took a lot of photos. Oh, here we go. More, maybe these are more children in the play. This is my plane in front of that map. It's a glider. Those are gliders, yep. Buck Lemon Furniture. I believe this is 10th Street in between College and Walnut looking north. That's a book binder right there. Right yep, right. the book binder is, is there, yep. Well, it still is there, but I've never seen anybody in it anymore. Yeah, it's hard to say what's going on there. Shooting range, I don't know where this was. IU, shooting range, okay. Range 
Looks like Clyde Black on the right. And what did he do? He's a principal, okay. Oh, yeah, those are neat. Yep, those are still standing, I believe, along South Walnut, right? Yep. They're. I don't know, I'm not a <laughs> well, there there was a la men's lounge on this Never right mind. side. Yeah. Never been there. Don't let you talk. Well, you can still drive by, right? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Where is this? Parker House, and this was where the owner lived at one point upstairs. Parker House, and they lived upstairs, and they had a business. Lois and Jack Stillians, okay. Downstairs was a quilting shop. Okay. Do we know geographically where this is? Old Highway 37 South, okay. Is it still? Okay. Oh, so it's the other side of where that hotel was. And it's not there anymore, is it? I don't think so. That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think so. This is backwards. Every once in a while when you scan, you get it backwards. Yep, that's now gone. Th third and college, yeah. This was like the last remaining structure on that side of the building that was still standing, and uh, they finally tore that down. And then, uh, actually, there's only the Adams Brothers buildings at the very end of this street, um, near where you get to Seminary Park. Those two are original, and then there's the one they just redid along South College, which is new. That's this one here. No, Piggy's Liquors would be a little bit further down, George. But right now, this space here has been a sea of pavement for 50 years. Because when they, when they demolished all the houses, they really thought someone would build like a McDonald's there, because they made it commercial, but nothing ever happened. So now we've got lots of pavement there. We used to buy bicycles at You used to what? Buy bicycles. And it was part of uh, Graham Motors across the street. The four dealers. Right, Graham Motors is across the street from this, yeah. yep. Yep. And they also own this in the Goodyear Tire Place. Okay, so they own this too. All right. It's all farm tractors. I believe this is another one of the buildings that's coming down here soon to re, re replaced by the new hotel along Kirkwood. Yep. This is Kirkwood in Washington. It's kind of a square thing happening there next to the church. Tireless tire service. Hey, it's Dick and Tom. The Van Arsdales, famous basketball players, twins. Mr. Basketball. Did they have another brother named Harry? No? Because that would be classic, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Lady golfers. There are a lot of photos with golfers in the collection at the HD. Wow, looks like one of the fish ate the other. That's a large fish. Those are all bass. I may present you with this check for. Yeah. More IU stuff. Staging, right? Huh. It was so exciting they took two. Oh, three. Art. That's got to be inside maybe Mathers or something? I don't know.
Hi. That's inside of Graham Motor. Yep. Tom O'Daniel. Yeah. They used to build when the Model Ts first came out. They used to ship them in on on railroad cars and lift them up to the second floor and assemble them and then roll them down the ramp in the showroom. Yep. So Graham Motors, which is the convention center today. Tom O'Daniel. Swift shoes. Yes. Uh, more tennis players. Mike Burke is on the far right. Jeff Arpan. The Jeff Arpan. Second from the right. Second from the right. Yeah. Is it Jeff? The old 10th Street Stadium. Whole lot of folks there. What? Fireworks, that's what they're probably there for. Anne Marie Enright. Anna Marie Enright. She was very popular because all the gentlemen in here knew her name. And you know her sister too, okay. Why do we, is she, was she, why do you think we have this photo and whatever became of her? Probably Aqua Queen. Aqua Queen, okay. And she was absolutely gorgeous girl. Okay. Uh, I'll leave the opinions out of the commentary, but she looks very, very pretty. <laughs> she became a model? She did pass away. Her sin sister was who? Jonna Sue. Jonna Sue? Jonna Sue. Yep. Okay. Her dad was John. What are we staring? What's the building in the back there? Is that the convention center? It looks no, too small. You're, you're looking across. You're looking across at. Uh, you're looking across college. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that would be almost looking directly across from my grandma's house. Oh. On the, other side. on the other side. Well, then that big building's no longer standing. Yeah. Right. Okay. It was a Chevrolet dealership. It was a Chevrolet dealership. Okay. That's a nice building. Too bad it's gone. Ford. Ford. No, it was Chevrolet on Walnut Street. You're looking across the street at it. That's That's IU. I don't think that's Poplar's. It's not ugly enough. <laughs> Apparently, she's growing something that's so interesting they need to photograph it. <laughs> Cactus, okay. Oh, her husband was in the background? <laughs> Yeah, he does look really <laughs> interested. He's so interested, he's reading the paper. But apparently, growing cactus was unusual. Yeah, that's Lake Central Airlines. Right? Lake Central Airlines. Painting a rabbit coop, a chicken coop? Who knows? Oh, chicken. Pigeon. Pigeon, sorry. And not to eat, I don't think. Beautiful. World peace through world cooperation. Some sort of meeting. Well, we remember that. They should have brought this back. Can you go back to the front 
The truck? Yes. Okay. It's an audio visual, visual mobile unit to Africa. Aid from the USA through this particular thing. Huh. So I'm guessing this is probably them in Africa then maybe because that's part of that series of photos. Interesting. Had a project in Nigeria in the 60s, okay. And this, uh, I don't recognize people who might be uh, staff, but it, it, uh, it surely is part of that project. I don't know if it was taken in Nigeria or... or it, it could be in Nigeria, we think. I don't know what you did. <laughs> so that was my first job, playing, playing in the community band. In the oh, yeah. You played the tuba, right? Yes, sir. All right. So that, that was before my time. Say what it is, dear. It's the, it's the old, uh, um, what did they call that? The, well, it's Third Street Park, but what did they call the shell? The band shell. Band shell. Yeah. It, it, there, there were, it was hollow. You could actually, there were doors on the other side of it where they kept the chairs and mm -hmm. the musical stands and stuff like that inside of it. And they even had a basement. And it would just project the sound out. Yeah, yeah, you're... Bedford didn't tear theirs down. Yeah. <laughs> Bedford had better, better looking. Checking, <laughs> checking one of our creeks for poisonous lead, etc. Whatever. This is a clown. Anybody know this clown? All right. Lots of photos of this clown. Yeah. We figured out where this was, Mike, didn't we? After thinking about it? It's Woodlawn. Looking south. Woodlawn looking south. Again. The exit out of Bryan Park Pool. Wow, okay. Lady golfers. Yep. Citizens first, so they tore this down not too long ago. This would have been right along Kirkwood. You're near the, where the depot used to be, yep. They built, tore it down to build the new hotel. They tore the depot down to build that stupid thing. Yeah, the hotel, yep. No, they were going to move it. Um, but after contemplation, they decided no one will care if we don't, and they did. Yes. Ronnie Myers. Myers. Huh. No idea. Yep. Blanket. Don't know what this uh, is. Libertyville said it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, a space a, capsule. That was uh, Gus Grissom's. Oh, yeah. That is a space capsule drawn on the drawer. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a parade, yeah, maybe so. But it doesn't, doesn't look like it's Bloomington either. So, yeah, congrats, Gus. Obviously, one of our astronauts. Hey, okay. That girl again in the middle. Alice. Dave Lemon went out with her once. We'll get that into the archives. Her sister was on our graduating class. All right, preparing for the Derby. I would ask Mike about where it was at this year because I wouldn't know. And I don't even know if this is in our town. Woodlawn? Oh, yeah, we should. 
This is definitely not Bloomington. This could be Mitchell. That's right, it is Mitchell. Yep. I guess we took photos of, in Mitchell sometimes on occasion. Yeah. Oh, that's why they went. Okay. Gus Grissom was from Mitchell? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Gus got some, um, well, people didn't like the fact that he let his capsule sink. No, that wasn't. Tingleated. All right. Sun drink Suncrest beverage. All right, we're going to have an intermission here in a few minutes, so we'll get through these. Mitchell and Olytic. When I first moved to Bloomington, I used to sit, read that and go, ooh, ooh, Lytic. I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. Let's get a milkshake. I think he's a little too big for that. Wow. All right, Mike, I'm going to... All right, I'm handing off to Mike. My hour is up. Thank you. All right, we'll show a few more. When you people get tired of them, you can let us know. That's Anna Marie Endright again, right? Anna Marie. Yes. Yeah. Puppy dogs? Absolutely. Well, we must have liked Anna Marie that day, so. A couple of bicycles. Anybody know anybody? I don't. Nice bikes. Somebody's birthday, I guess. Recognize anybody? I don't. Does that say animals? I don't know. <laughs> don't know him. Okay. Is that Brian Park? Or, uh, yeah. It's Brian Park, right? Well, they set up the bleachers for the Well, they're getting ready for the Aquacade. The Aquacade, yeah. yeah. That is a real pleasure. Those probably wouldn't pass code nowadays, would they? What? Those probably wouldn't pass code nowadays. No, I doubt it. <laughs> now, they had a bubble on this pool for what? A couple of years? Something like that, or they could, use, yeah. they could use it in the winter time. Yeah. Uh, it, got, it must have got deflated because it went away. Yeah, I don't know if OSHA would go for this nowadays. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I don't know where that's. It's not. It's not Brian. It's not BHS. I don't think. What's this? Star. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, Job's daughter. Okay. I wonder where that was. Any idea where? Probably right. What's a grand page? So it's a, I, it's the IU Auditorium. <laughs> okay. 
blood pressure time, I guess. Just be school nurse, high school nurse, maybe. Back when they used to dress like nurses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back when doctors used to dress like doctors, too, probably. And dentists used to dress like dentists. Probably. <laughs> And pharmacists. <laughs> I can't remember actually. Anybody? Oh, that's uh, so that's the railroad going by. Where are we? Uh, where are we, Kelly? North Walnut. Uh, no. 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 The railroad's going above it. Yeah. Does that sound right, George? Indiana Avenue? East of Indiana. East of Indiana. Oh, yeah. Okay. Distributorship up there? The reason I asked you, Kelly, is because you knew Bob. I guess that was in town somewhere. I don't know. Car wash? No. No? <laughs> That's who? Oh. Oh, that's at third, third uh, Indiana Avenue, third and Jordan. Oh, yeah. That's the right. northeast corner yeah. of third and Jordan. You might want to repeat that so everybody else can hear it. That's third and Jordan, apparently. Don't know. Looks like maybe something at IU. I don't know. Is that Reva McCoy? Anybody? No. No? No. That's me. So I'm going to the bucket. That's you? <laughs> Who is that? Is it Carol? Oh, it's Carol Bruce. Right. Okay. Nice glasses. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, that was Carol Bruce. Did you hear that? No. No. Oh, it wasn't. Gloria said that. No, it wasn't. Gloria said that. Then that's on her. So. <laughs> Out the lake, I guess. I think that's Lake Lebanon, that, you think? You live there, so. Yeah, because there are docks, and they don't allow docks like that, I don't believe. Individual well, that looks like Loma Linda there off of the distance. Yeah. Loma Linda off to yeah, the distance? Yeah, it's where Dr. Spencer's cabin was off that point. Or that's Riddle Point right there, maybe. Riddle Point? Maybe. No. That's no. A, that's, that's, that point coming out there in the distance is where IU had their stuff and the sailing club is tucked in behind that bush. That's just, a, that's just off Cotton Picker's Point. Just off Cotton Picker's Point, George says. David disagrees. <laughs> well, there's that same thing again. Looks important. <laughs> Ooh. It doesn't look good. What is that anyway? It's a car. We know that. Looks like something made the pond. Ouch. Any ideas on that? Nope. Fairgrounds, huh?
for public services? That used to be a lake. Oh, okay. Second and Walker. That's a, yeah, that, that sounds right. It's just right over here, Mike. Right over here. Yeah. That's, yeah. Behind oh, I, went I went to Hunter Elementary School, and every year when that carnival came to town, and they went down there with the public service was, yeah. we could sit on the front lawn, and they'd walk the elephants and everything right down Second yeah. Street. It was, it was a big thing. I went to Hunter, too. I must have missed that day. <laughs> I believe you, though. Yeah. <laughs> what? I know what I maybe. Oh, good. Still fairgrounds, I guess. <laughs> That's the arena where they had the go kart racing, horse pulling, pro wrestling. All right. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, that's David Bar Bar Bartlett back there in back. The little blonde headed boy down to the left is Jimmy Councilman. Oh, okay. The, the, the swimming the, coach's the, son. The, the, they're the, the, part of the Bloomington Swim Club. I know the other two, but I can't remember their names. And you were in the swim club, yes. right? That would have been 1962. That's, that sounds about right. Yeah, that's Jimmy Councilman. I don't know if Mark is still alive. There are people our age right there, probably. <laughs> White sides. It's a good old VW out front. Auto page book return. Right by the library, I guess. So. So this would be where the History Center is today. Uh, that looks familiar. That's, are those those apartments near Bryant Park, or is it? That's where? Third Lincoln. Third Lincoln, okay. Same place. Okay, at the track meet, I guess. With a camera. Another camera, that must have been dangerous work. He's got a helmet. <laughs> He's a knight. <laughs> Latin club? Any idea? Old house somewhere. Where's Derek when I need him? Is that the Lutheran Church? No. You think it's Lutheran Church? Uh, there's another view of it. It just looks like it'd be over near IU. Sure Fairgrounds. So we must be into what? July, August. Ah! Foot slipped off the brake. Looks like. Only had two beers. Only had what? Only had two beers. <laughs> But they were this big, right? <laughs> well, that could hurt. So, uh, okay. This must be a new parking lot, or they wouldn't have made a big deal out of it somewhere. Showing off baubles, I guess, jewelry. At some downtown store, probably. Yeah, somebody should know these girls, but I, I don't. That guy looks familiar, but 
twelve thirty something, but I can't read that. <laughs> is that out near on up Jordan or where's that at? Any ideas? Oh, that's not here? Oh. No, I don't think it's Dun Meadow, is it? Looks like. The practice football field. Okay. Well, there was a field, a, a practice field at IU, yes, across from the Hyper Building, east of the Hyper Building. That's Warrior Pool back in the day. And that's, that was a, they had, originally they had those green trailers after World War II out yeah. in this area here. Yeah. It's part of the, yeah. Yeah. Woodlawn Field. Yeah. Woodlawn Field. Well, uh, probably sharing days for Girl Scouts. I mean, for a uh, 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 Boy Scout. Uh, 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 These are boys, right? <laughs> I wanted to make sure for it. That's good, Val. When you're loving puberty, you're hoping, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know. I probably better comment no further on that. We'll so, He's speaking in Latin signs, obviously. <laughs> Boy Scouts. Yeah, that's Hyper Building, right? Inside the Hyper. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'd try that. <laughs> yeah, it's a cop down there. I wonder. <laughs> Got to be a story with that. If I can just make that window there. <laughs> and when he gets up there, what does he do? I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? They're, They're practicing repelling. Yeah, I guess so, maybe. After all, it's Boy Scouts there. <laughs> this is the instant of a very, very bad fall. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a bit old to be doing that, but. <laughs> Teaching him how to smoke a pipe, obviously. <laughs> a lot of golf shots. Uh, we had so many golf negatives, we, we didn't take too many. There were just gobs of them. But we took a few. So this might be the city tournament, maybe, possibly. Ping pong, maybe at the girls club or? At Banneker, okay, Banneker, yeah. I don't recognize anyone. Okay, a fashion show. Here we go. No, it's not. So I wonder where this was at. Any ideas? That's Patty Joe Neal. Yeah. That looks like Patty Joe, but I don't know if that's. Is, are you sure? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not. But it looks like her. It looks like her. I don't think it's her. Jordan May. Okay. We can agree on that. That's right. 
Is one enough? Well, he hopes not, probably. No, 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 no. That's Jordan Hall. That's Jordan Hall, and they're building for more Jordan Hall. So they tore down Alpha Hall to add to Jordan Hall? Is it? Because there's the greenhouse, I guess, right there. On East Third. Oh yeah. That looks like a is that, is that a shelter house or no? Cascade shelter house probably. I don't know if it could be a family reunion. I, I don't know. That's where we had all our family reunions and a lot of other people did too. Was it saved? Main Mainway Produce. I don't remember that. Walnut and Davis? Okay. Which, which steakhouse? Oh, I, I know where you mean. Okay, it used to be the license branch too, didn't it? Coleman's, I think. So that's close to Grimes Lane, isn't it? Okay. Pizza. Oh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Also, steaks and seafood. That's before we even had the ED prefix, I guess. Oh, yes. I don't know. Skip left. <laughs> Is that on Kirkwood then? Or, yeah, it'd have to be, right? Fireside. Fireside. Yeah, I guess that's where the parking garage is now. Yeah, Pizza Den, okay. I don't think I ever had one from there. But. The Hideaway. That was a 24-hour place. Sometimes we would hang out if, if, if we were out way, way late, which hardly ever happened, but occasionally. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's close to that subway thing on Atwater, like a little bit to the north of it, I think. Well, it's close to Atwater. I'm not, I'm not sure it's on Atwater. Close to Atwater. That's what, yeah. It actually had two locations. It was once where that subway is on that water, I think, at one time. Back time. Okay, some kind of store. Don't recognize him. Okay, where's that, George? Is that here in town? That's Ellettsville. Okay, right. Fall Festival in Ellettsville. I know it's Ellettsville, but where I couldn't tell you. Okay. 
or just how he feels. He's surrounded by a, <laughs> a bevy of cute girls there. Is that Margaret Hogan? Don knows who that is. She had a Jackson. What? Sheila Jackson, 1961. Sheila Jackson? Yes. My oh, okay. Yes. So this is Fall Festival Queen then, right? Is that her right there? Is that the same girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. She lives in El Paso, Texas now. Oh, okay. She lives in El Paso. Donna Jeffers, you said? Hendrick. Oh, Donna Hedrick, okay. The one third from the right looks familiar, but I'm not sure of the name. That's the parade at the Fall Festival, no doubt. Oh, it's a nice, cute little picture. <laughs> Watermelon time. Remember when they used to let you plug them at the grocery store? Yes. Now they'd have you arrested, I guess, or something. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, might have been a polio victim, perhaps. I don't know. Quarry somewhere. Yeah. Rachel. Rachel Peden, okay. Now, was she older than us? Or you? When I say us, I'm talking 64 graduating class. Okay. A wreck. <laughs> What's that? Is that a Buick and something? That, that needs a little work. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you call a fixer-upper. They call. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, that's when they were doing what they call it. It was in the Urban Renewal. Yeah, I was in the paper all the time about this time. Hmm. Pretty ramshackle, obviously. It looks familiar, but I don't know where it's at. Uh, oh, okay, that's Eagles. That, that's the Eagles? Yeah, well, it's over in that neighborhood. Uh, they're just north of, north of 5th Street, between 5th and 6th. That going to the left looks like the Eagles. Yeah. And any ideas? I don't know. It's got the old sidewalks with the yeah. bricks interlaced. Nice it like, yeah. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe that bridge had just been finished. Perhaps. That's the highway. Maybe the south of town. Oh, you think that's south 37? Is that that point right there was the railroad over there? I was thinking maybe it was west of town, but I, I don't know.
Junior Chamber of Commerce. Temporary quarters of campus pharmacy. Boy, I'm glad that was before my time. <laughs> that looks kind of rough. <laughs> yeah, no overheads. Is that Tom living outside of it? Yeah, yeah, right. They did a lot of United Way fund advertisements. They've done very well here. 158,000, I guess. Congratulations on your new modernized warehouse facilities. John R. Fig, Matthew Welch, the governor, signed it with best wishes. <laughs> Say curry pie. Curry pie. Okay. Probably wet or raw foods. Yeah. Wet or raw foods, possibly. Yeah. It's like another fender bender. Whoa. It's that sudden stop that gets you, it looks like. <laughs> That's where the guy went after this wreck, I guess. I don't know. That's a fire department looking on 4th Street, looking west. Bill, I can't remember. Larry, Larry Stansifer. Larry Stansifer. Tom Crandall. Oh, yeah, Tom Crandall. Is that Bob Bagantz also? Yeah. Bob Bagantz. Larry Stone. Bill Stone is the officer. Is that uh, Kip Williamson or? Yeah. This is like Troop One. This is Troop One of something or other. Yeah, I don't know what ever happened to Tom. I haven't seen him forever. What? What? What's the name? Fred Oh, Fred McGant. Okay. I don't know whether this is real or a. A test. I don't know. They tended to burn houses down for practice. Just for, yeah, condemned houses, burn them down for practice. <laughs> that's the Wiley House. Oh, that's the Wiley House. Okay, everyone knows where that's at. Actually, we were on top of that roof once. Derek and I and and a lady and Derek and the lady were taking photos that away and I couldn't stand up up there I had to sit down because it's it's really pitched a lot and as you could see you could kind of fall off if you weren't careful so they just repaired the wall of that uh, recently yeah it's a pretty neat place people should visit it if they get a chance The track, cross country, I guess. Uh, he looks familiar. Who is that? Ted. No, I don't think it's Shiplet. Uh, you got the first name right. Oh, and there's Lexi Mills, of course, to the right. That's it. Shuffler. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. 
That's the suburban, yeah. Looks like, were they moving this house? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, house flipping right here. Is it, it's not Benders, is it? Almost looks like it. There they're moving that house somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's the hospital. Yep. So it's right there off Rogers. Yeah. Some celebration downtown. Yeah. Cans clothing. My dentist was above. Everybody can hear that part. Another dentist story, right? I think that's it. That's it, guys. That's all Derek left us. So, all right. <laughs> now, we've been doing this for three years now. We've gone from 1957 to 69, so it's taken us three years to go 12 years. So the chances of us outliving this are slim, it looks like. <laughs>